Back Again, Angie Ghost, UFO Rick. Okay, I got something pretty cool for you guys today, guys and gals. Um, I know it always intrigued me and actually it still does intrigue me okay we'll start this happened occurred in 2015 now this positively absolutely is of Angie's hand she drew that and that is her writing and I also have let me see if I can put this up here I also have this letter she wrote that goes along with what me and her refer to as the watch so I will let me see here. I'll try to get, let me get a little bit closer there. I'm going to start out reading the letter. And I'm starting at the beginning. And this is also of Angie's hand. She wrote this. Now, I have trouble sometimes reading her writing, so... And I'm not that great of a reader to begin with, so I may have to skip over a word or two. But here I go. Lying in bed one night, I drifted off to sleep. I am not sure whether or not I was sleeping or dreaming. Or if the following actually happened. I saw a bright light, in parentheses, she says white, beside I saw a bright light, white, in parentheses. All at once, I was either approached by some beings, or I wound up in a white room surrounded by six beings. Both the light and the room were a white, more vibrant and brighter than any white I have ever seen. The light was extremely bright, but it did not, and she has not underlined twice, it did not hurt my eyes to look at, to look, to look at. It did not hurt my eyes to look at. When I realized I was in a room, I was lying on a metal exam-like table, but it was not cold or hard like a typical surgical table. And she had that in parentheses, starting at butt, ending at table. And unfortunately, she would know about surgery tables. She had plenty. Okay. The beings that circled around me looked as human-like as you and I. They had dark hair, Blues Brothers hats, and sunglasses, black suits and ties, white button-up shirts, black shiny leather shoes, and at least, oh, I don't know if that's, oh, at least two of them 
were wearing watches as you're looking at right there, I think. Let me go on and read it before I put my foot in my mouth. Okay, at least two of them were wearing watches. The watch itself was something unlike I have ever seen. First of all, it had no band to hold it on their arm. Next, the face was a rectangle with a circular face inside. The face had, hmm, I don't know how many, how many hands. I think she's saying four. Anyway, the face had so many hands. I, I couldn't read that writing there. I think it's four. I.E. the second hand, minute hand, and two other, and two others. That was in parentheses after the I.E. The watch also had six, I don't know what that word is, alongside, something alongside, but instead the number three are letters or even Roman numerals for the time. They had, I got to turn it over here, they had symbols. The watches did not seem like a typical watch. They did not strike me as being used for telling time, though I am not sure of their actual purpose. That's the end of the letter. And that's the watch that she drew. So, let me see. We can see up here. I can't read that. Background is a huge spiral. Okay, and then she's pointing to the face of the watch. She didn't draw the spiral in. Big face, wider than arm. Each of these, she's pointing to the hands. Each of these are like clock hands. Looks like are 3D. 3D. Okay. Then we got reminds me of a something. I can't make that out either. All of these were push buttons right there right there on the side all those buttons right there on the side okay um there were no straps to hold it on their arms okay well that was another one of Many, 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 many either dreams or I believe she was actually, actually taken. And she has told me several and this one was so intriguing to me. I asked her if she would draw it and write all this down. And of course, for me, she did. I love you. She's a sweetheart. I miss her so much. Okay, well, I'm I'm gonna pause it to see if I have anything else to add. I found uh, I found some other stuff, and I found one more drawing that Angie did. There may be more, but like I said, I moved since she passed, and I unfortunately probably lost a lot of stuff. But I got my memory. I ain't lost my memory yet. So I would say I lost my mind since she's gone, but 
that might be the same thing as a memory, so better not say that. Okay, well, that's it for now. And um, I hope you enjoyed this one from Angie Ghost UFO Rick. And I'm going to babble here for a couple more seconds. Turn it off at 1028. Goodbye.